It is an experience that most of us have lacked over the last year. Socialization, people-to-people -people contact is limited. But what could the long-term effects be on children? Well, that is what Nicole Ford talked about with a local expert, new at 630. Adriana is just two and a half, full of smiles and energy in Penn Hills. She could potentially enter a preschool next year. And that landscape is unknown. Her dad, Chris, says the last year should have been a time of play dates and interacting with other kids, but the pandemic halted that socialization. It's not just the, the conversation, it's the, the physical, you know, like connection. You know, getting a hug from your grandmother. Um, just having, you know, being able to play with you know, your little cousin. Stuck at home with canceled family traditions, he worries about the long-term impacts. It's about the social interaction with other people and just seeing other people and other walks of life, you know? And, you know, my 12-year-old's having the same experiences. You know, she may not be young, young, but, you know, like she's been, you know, at home school all year. I took his concerns to Dr. William Davies. Maybe sort of that age of two to five, three to six in that range. Um, it's really important for kids to have opportunities to play with one another. And from, from that socialization, they learn things like inter some interpersonal effectiveness. They learn problem solving. They learn how to take turns. Without those building blocks, Dr. Davies says there will be a void in developmental skills, but parents can help fill that gap in the short term. Get on the floor with your kid. Start doing some pretend time. Bring out your your inner inner kid from back in the day and dress up, do whatever you need to do and then try to engage in that socialization with Dr. Davies overall message is kids are resilient and parents need to be patient. He believes post COVID kids will bounce back and start picking up those social skills they've lacked over the last year in Allegheny County, Nicole Ford, KDK News.